everyone. Welcome back to my channel here at Tech Imaginations. I'm Susan Vincents, and in today's video and next week's video, I have two awesome new features that Screencastify has added in just the recent weeks or months, depending upon your Google account. So in today's video, we're going to look at the interactive questions feature on Screencastify. So stay with me, and we're going to move over to Screencastify. So here we are in Screencastify, and this is the section where it brings you to after you stop recording. Or if you click these three lines up on the top left and click on My Recordings, it's also going to get you to this same spot. This is where it stores all of your recordings. So I'm just going to click on one of these recordings that I have made previously. And we're going to pause it here in Screencastify so it does not continue playing as we record this video. And you're going to notice over here on your right hand side, you have some new features in this menu. And we're going to talk about the watch page in a separate video coming very, very soon. But what we want to concentrate today on is this interactive questions section. So if you are a user of Edpuzzle at all, where it allows you to add questions to a video. This is the very same concept that Screencastify has added for you right here. So I have my video up and I'm going to click on this interactive questions button. So if I click on interactive questions, it's going to open in a new window and it's going to load the video here. And then notice I have this blue button right down here and I'm going to click add questions. Now for right now, They've just added this feature. All that's available is multiple choice. So you have the ability here to add a question. So I'm going to click this again, and I'm going to delete this. And I want to go to the spot. I can play the video through here, or I can just move up to the spot that I want to use. So I'm going to go find the spot in the video that I want to focus on. And then I'm going to add my question. So notice it has the timestamp of the video where you want the question to go. And then I can add my question. So I add my question here, and then I'm going to put the answers. All right, so then notice down here, it gives you a hint. At least two answers are required. So it gives you a section for four, but you have to have at least two answers and then one answer must be marked as correct. Okay, so I'm gonna mark that as correct. This video is about Google Calendar and that's where I want them to go. And then I'm gonna hit save. So now we have that question created and it is there. Then I can continue. So notice now, if I continue to fast forward through the video, I have a stamp here of where I put my question. And then I can add other questions as I desire. So when I'm finish adding, finishing adding questions to my video, I can come up here to the share button and I can share it a couple of different ways. I can share it with the watch page link which again, we're going to talk more and dive deeper into the watch page in a succession video after this one. So be sure to stay tuned for that one to come out. I, mean, I can copy that watch page link. And what I can do is I can share that with my students. And then when I go paste it, it's going to show me that video. And then if I fast forward through, um, I can fast forward through the video. Or, just like normal in Screencastify, I can share it to my Google Classroom, which is what I'm going to do here. So I hit Share to Classroom. I'm going to choose my class. I'm going to use my test class here. I want to choose Action, so I'm going to create an assignment. Click Go. And then it allows me to do whatever I would normally do to post an assignment on Google Classroom. And then I'm going to hit Assign. So there it is, and then I'm allowed to view it. 
as the teacher, I can go to my normal view. I'm going to go to my classwork. And then here it is down here where I've just posted it. And here is where I did another sample earlier. So now if I click on that assignment, I can see, just like I normally would on any Google Classroom, that how many have turned in, how many I've assigned it to, I can edit and do what I normally would. So what I did to get to the interactive questions, I just simply went to my recordings, chose a recording, and then I added interactive questions to my video. Now, as students start responding, you have the ability to come up here to responses, and then you will see what they have responded. You can see all, you can see various students, and then you can also see the questions as you get responses. So hopefully um, that will be a new useful feature here for you in Screencastify to increase the engagement of your students and assess them in a quick manner. Enjoy! Well, thanks for tuning in, and I hope you did learn something new that you can find useful um, as you work to engage your students. Be sure to hit the like and subscribe button down below so you're able to find more of my videos for your tech learning needs. I hope you have a great day. Be blessed, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.